The dark room, or camera oscura, already described by some Arabian astronomers of the 9th century, allowed the painter to copy onto a two-dimensional surface the complexity of a three-dimensional space with the greatest of ease and precision. Although it was known to Leonardo da Vinci and Giorgio Vasari, the dark room actually became part of the set of instruments used by the painter only after 1680, when the reflex kind of camera was improved. To make the painter's job easier, the image was then projected onto a horizontal plane thanks to a 45-degree inclined mirror. In the dark rooms with an internal observer, the painter from within the machine could retrace the subject that was projected directly onto the sheet of paper. The several different kinds of dark rooms are well documented, and in all cases, the dark room seems to accomplish all the needs of a painting technique that was optically very close to reality. For sure, Vermeer, Crespi, Canaletto, Bellotto, Guardi and many others made use of the dark room. In the 19th century, the typical artist's light room, also used by the curious traveler, was invented in 1807 to be exact, by an English chemist and physicist named Wollstone. It is made of a glass prism set up on a board where the sheet of paper is to be placed. If you get your eye close to the prism, you will virtually superimpose the image of your hand and of the pencil with that of the image you're going to draw. As a matter of fact, here we are very close to the birth of photography, a technique that will rapidly replace, within a few years, both dark and light rooms, giving popularity to a new way of perceiving and, as a result, drawing reality.